Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, um, because I don't have a plan with me for this week, um, because I had pre-laid out a kit that I was testing out during the first week of July um, for my sticker shop, I don't have a um, kit to lay down this week so I thought that I would do um, another video showing you guys how my sticker sheets laid down in an Erin Condren planner so unfortunately I am going to be using the old Erin Condren planner um, just because it's it's what I have right now you guys will start seeing the new Erin Condren layout next week I'm sorry if it's super shadowy I do have you guys zoomed in a little bit I am using my light kit this time um, because I do want to get this video done and unfortunately it's dark. So uh, in this one I am using the Aladdin inspired kit and this is what it looks like. This is this one happens to come with an extra strip of freebies and we have the full boxes here, the ombre heart check boxes, the washi and some half and quarter boxes, the little things and headers, and then also the date covers with the date dots. Now this is an older formatted kit because my new format kits no longer come with the date dots because I will be offering those separate. So this is also a glossy kit because I was testing glossy paper out. If you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know that I was testing glossy paper out with a certain supplier and that did not work out. And so I just, I still have this kit and I will be, um, you know, I just, I want to go through it. So there is that. So, oh yeah, this is also an oops kit. I don't know if you guys can see where it didn't quite line up. I don't know what happened. It had to have been something with my silhouette. So this might not fit. Well, the boxes should still be the same size. It's not going to bother me. Might bother some of you guys. If it does, I apologize. Right, I'm going to fold this in half and probably zoom you guys in a little more. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see. I do also have, don't mind my post-its. I have these here so that I can make sure that I always stay in frame for you guys. Because if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you'll, you'll see me go like in and out of frame sometimes. And that's because sometimes I'm not paying attention to what I can and can't see. So yeah, I don't know. I started um, the second session of the summer and I have been so busy with everything, with class. The second summer session is only five weeks long and I happen to pick be taking Spanish 2 which is the second college level of Spanish class and it is so hard you guys oh my gosh I am like so stressed out about this class I don't know what I was thinking um, every instructor has a different method of teaching and instructors can choose to use different textbooks and different websites for learning and it sucks because you know it just you never know how that instructor is going to teach the class and you know it just it's crazy this instructor I thought my previous Spanish teacher if you guys didn't know I don't know if they do this everywhere but at my university uh, for bachelor programs you have to have um, a second language completed and over here a second language is broken down into four classes and so like that's why I have to take a second language um, but the I took the first one. Oh, this is crooked. Oh, well. I took the first one and I thought it was, it's not that I thought that it was hard. It's because the teacher, she really didn't provide any instructions on anything with the assignments. And I, I took it online 
and I figured it would be easy enough to take it online and it was it wasn't a bad class it just you know there was some times where there wasn't any instructions on the worksheets that we were given and we wouldn't know what to do so you know you do your best and you know it is what it is and the instructor she was practically like unreachable like we could never get a hold of her ever whenever we had any questions so you know some of us in class just kind of stuck together trying to you know do the best that we could on some of the assignments but you know getting through that basically without an instructor help was a challenge on its own now this semester my instructor is pretty hands-on except that the program that he's using is so harshly graded you do everything online and your sentence structure has to be completely perfect um, otherwise it counts it wrong if you forget an accent on the letter you know anything it is so hard not only that you guys but these Spanish classes aren't meant for anybody who is not familiar with the language I'm not even kidding you I don't really know Spanish all that well and I, I know it a little bit, you know, I, I grew up around it, my family speaks it, and if it wasn't for that, like, I would honestly be 100, whoa, that is really crooked, 100% completely lost in this class, because it's about sentences, writing sentences and building sentence structure, and I honestly feel like you have to already know a lot of Spanish in order to be taking this class because it's just it's the way that the class is structured I guess I, I don't even know like how to explain it or or what but it is a very difficult class and I am super struggling I'm just honestly hoping that I can make it through this session it's a five week session and I am just like scared because I don't know what's gonna happen and I just I hope that I don't get lower than a B because if I do it's really gonna mess with my GPA so these aren't quite fitting like I want them to because this is an oops kit I didn't realize that when I pulled it out and I had already set everything up to film but I'm just gonna have to go with it because um, I'm already filming. So um, it being an oops kit, it's not going to completely line up. That is not to say that that's how all the kits are, but you guys will just get an idea of the structure of the kit. So let's see. Anyway, enough of my rant with that. I just, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I have to get through it. There's nothing that I can do, you know but push through it and do my best and you know it'll it will be over at some point you know my grade whatever I get is what I'm gonna get and there's nothing I can do about it but try my hardest so that being said um what else oh I think that I have everything secured for my diamond painting business I'm looking at setting up my website today I haven't done it yet but I'm finalizing my first order with my supplier which is very exciting and I also got um, really good news from an artist that I'm trying to get um, that they are very interested in teaming up with me to do um, to license their art with me to be uh, have it turned into diamond paintings which I am very excited about because I absolutely love this woman's art I'm not going to say anything yet because you know nothing set in stone there's no, there's no contracts or anything like that right now not yet anyway we're still talking but um, I'm just, I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, nobody knows about it except for one person. She's a good friend of mine who's kind of helping me get everything, you know, into place. And so 
it's it's very exciting for me i'm excited i just you know i can't wait until everything falls into place so i'm looking at probably launching sometime this month with custom art um launching probably in august um meaning art into diamond paintings that other stores do not have in august so i don't even think that the people who watch my plan with me's watch my diamond painting videos or vice versa i don't think the girls not the girls but you know my view the viewers who do watch the diamond painting videos watch the plan with me videos because i noticed that my diamond painting videos get way more views than my plan with me's but it is what it is you know what can i do oh i also need to film a new releases video um from my etsy shop because i have had a stack of new releases sitting on my desk um for a while now that i need to film i think i need to print one more i think i have four kits that i need to come out with i was hoping to be able to do new releases every month and june really just got away with me i know i mentioned in one of my other plan with me is that I just have a lot of stuff going on right now, not just with school, but in my family life as well. And so um, I kind of skipped over June, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping though coming into um, July, these new releases, I'm probably gonna put like the July release and then hopefully, um, <clears throat> in July I'll be able to produce at least another three kits that way um, I can have August releases that's just the way that I'm going to be able to do it I know there are some Etsy shops out there who have new releases every week um, but that's just not me until I think once August comes and my kids are back in school, I'm going to have a little bit more time on my hands. Even though I'm a full-time student, um, once you get back into the regular semester, things are a little bit more spread out and they're easier to maintain. And it'll just fall into place. Not only that, but I, you know, I'm also going to be starting a part-time job. But like I said, I think it's just right now that it's summer, everything is just extra crazy where it doesn't need to be, you know? Oops, that's crooked. So I'm planning still the week of July 4th, even though the days are off, I know, don't hate me, but I really just want to show you guys what the kit looks like and you know give you an idea of what to do with it i know there's a lot of people who still have this this old version of the erin condren because you can pick any start month i think like i think when you order it you can say like oh i'm ordering it in july and then you order it from july to july if i'm not mistaken i'm just gonna say because i did get a package yesterday i'm gonna put that there and then let's get this weekend banner I also don't think all of my kits came with the weekend banner, but I do have some weekend banners designed that I'm hoping to include in some of the newer kits. That's not center, but that's okay. Um, I also don't do a lot of deco just because I'm not big on deco. It just, you know, it is what it is. Let me see. So I have class. Okay, I'm gonna do these little quarter boxes for class every day. I'm going to do it here in the top one because I have class Monday. In the summer, yes, I'm taking summer classes. So this is my on-campus class because I'm taking one online and one on campus. I actually have three right now, but one's going to be ending in a few days. And so other than that, I have Monday through Thursday, I'm on campus. This week I have no appointments. I have no appointments this week. Oh, actually yesterday, which would have been the first, my daughter did have an appointment, so I'm gonna mark that. Nope. My daughter was asking if we've ever been to Hollywood, <laughs> which we have. I just thought it was funny that she was asking. 
Okay, so she does have a doctor. She did have a doctor's appointment that day, so I'm gonna put that on there. And then I like to do my plan with me's. Usually on Monday is when I try to do my plan planning videos. So I'm just gonna put that there, even though I didn't do that yesterday. But I'm doing it today. I'm gonna put some sidebar stuff on here. So the newer kits also come with more sidebar things. Um, just so you know, this is an older format kit. So yes, they do come with some um, more sidebar stuff. The pages are also formatted differently. So these are really skinny pages. And the new kits um, are an actual like half page. To, so that we can like maximize um, the stuff so you can get more out of the kit. So this was meant to be, and some of the new kits do have this box still, but it is reformatted to be more uniform, like a post-it, and it would cover two boxes essentially, and I actually offer it as a die cut in some of the newer kits. So that is pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through and stick some deco on here. I love this little mini post-it right here. I'm just gonna stick that there. It's so cute. Put some little deco pieces, a little pen on this one. Washi tape. I'm gonna put a coffee on that one, which would have been my daughter's doctor appointment. Okay, stick this other little planner on there and I have a few more pieces of deco. So yeah, short and sweet, that little updates for you guys. I still have like some stuff going on in my life that I don't know like what's going to happen with. But you know, you guys just keep watching my channel, you'll, it'll come to light at some point, you know, just it is what it is, things happen. I'm just hoping that once the kids start school that things start kind of falling into place a little bit and become easier. I'm just going to finish off the sidebar, make it look a little cuter. So yeah, you guys, this is pretty much it. This is what the kit looks like. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek as well at the new format just so you guys can see what it looks like and see what I mean about the kit having more. I don't want to show you all the pages so I'm going to show you something that's different. Okay. Actually, did I not print the... No, I have, that's the one that I haven't printed yet. Okay, so there's that. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this one needs to be reprinted. This is an oops kit. Um, my printer was running out of ink when I printed. I'm not going to show you the full boxes and the half boxes because you guys are the full boxes and the ombre check boxes. But this is what the new um, like header page looks like on little things. It, I've moved everything to include some extra washi strips and also some flag um, boxes like appointment labels. Then we have a new deco page. So some, this is also going to change according to the kit because I don't receive the same amount of deco in all of the kits. So you've got some sidebar stuff here, some extra full boxes on this page, lots of bildus, some more deco. And then I also lay out the deco according to the page. So on this one, I have room on the bottom of this one. So I threw in some extra couple pieces of deco. And you know, you still have your quarter boxes, your half boxes, your check bags, your hydrate, the habit trackers. And yeah, that is not the whole kit. That is just a sneak peek at the kit. And that is my bookworm kit. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. Again, the colors aren't as vibrant because my printer was running out of ink when I printed those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm gonna give you guys another sneak peek. This is what the new little boxes look like. This is one of the die cuts. Again, this is not one you'll be receiving if you guys can see the lines, but this is what I keep in my stash when I'm testing and printing and cutting. Um, just to get sizing right and everything, that kind of thing. Make sure my offsets are correct. That's what that looks like. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm hoping that there's not going to be any editing in this video, um, except for when I was talking to my daughter. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. There is one of my kits in the old layout of the Erin Condren planner. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. And have a great 4th of July.